everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this adorable panda amigurumi. It's just a panda head and it's a cute little pillow uh, that you can add to your stuffed animal collection. So we are using Red Heart Yarns for this project. Big thank you to them for providing this yarn. We're using Red Heart Super Saver. And my main color is going to be an off-white color actually. You can use um, plain white, but I'm using Aran actually actually in this tutorial and then for the accent colors pandas have black ears and black eyes and then black noses so uh, you can use a, just a little bit of black yarn for your embellishments in this tutorial also going to need some polyfill to stuff your panda head so make sure you have some of that as well and I'm using a G size crochet hook which is 4.25 millimeters or 4 millimeters uh, this fancy hook is from the Etsy shop would be fancy it is an, a hand carved ergonomic crochet hook so you can check out the link in the description of this video to that shop and you can get your own fancy crochet hook and if you crochet like this using like if you're using a pen you can crochet that way or you can crochet like I do by holding uh, a knife or a, a scoop <laughs> so a scoop of ice cream <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that's how I hold my hook. So you can, you know, use these and there's left-handed ones and there's sets too. So it's super fabulous. So love those hooks. You're also going to need a scissors and a yarn needle for this project to cut your yarn and sew in some ends and obviously sew on some embellishments. So those are all the supplies we need. Now, before we begin, I want to mention the links in the description of this video again. There's a link to get all these supplies as well as the free written pattern for this panda head on my website, yarnutopia.com. There's also links to my Facebook and Instagram so you can follow me on social media and you can also follow me on Snapchat. I'll have my username in there as well. So make sure you follow me all over the platforms of social media. And now we can get started and make this cute little panda. Let's start out by making the main part of our panda head. So I'm using the Aran yarn and we are going to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through and pull tight. And there's your slip knot. Then insert your hook and we can begin. So let's start out by chaining two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochets. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two, this uh, chain right there. We're going to go into that chain, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, and that's a single crochet. So we have to put six of those in there. So that was one. So go back into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. There's two. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. There's three, here's four, and five, and six. Now we are going to be working in continuous rounds and in the back loop only. If you need to, grab a stitch marker at this time. I'm only, I just cut a piece of black yarn here just to mark my rounds, but, um, or a different, you can use a different colored piece of yarn. Just stick it right in there so you can mark your rounds. And we are going to be working in the back loops only for this uh, part of the head, or for this project. So the back loop is this loop right here that's furthest away from you, okay? So usually we go through both loops Here's both loops like this, both loops, both loops. But the loop that's furthest away from you is the back loop. So we are going to be working in the back loops only. And that's written in the pattern as well. So you can follow along. Um, just in this second round here, we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. So go into the back loop of this one right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, there's one, go back into that same stitch in that back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then just do that in each stitch around. So hop to this next one, back loop only, put two single crochets. Okay, hop to the next and put two single crochets. So at the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochets all the way around. 
and I just have one stitch left to put my two single crochets in so you can just continue following along we can go on to round three for round three we're going to move the stitch marker up and we are going to increase to 18 stitches we're going to put two single crochets in this next stitch right here so this first stitch we're going to go in the back loop put two single crochets in there and then we're just going to put one single crochet in the stitch after that Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the stitch after that. Then two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. Okay, and I'm almost to the end here. I'm going to have 18 stitches at the end of this round, and I'm just going to go a little faster and catch up. And now we can go on to round four. For round four, we are going to move our stitch marker up. Okay. So I have 18 stitches now. So for round four, move your stitch marker up and we are going to increase again. So let's put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two. And now we're only going to put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And remember, back loops only. So one in that next stitch, and then one in the stitch after that. Just like that. And we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two. And then one single crochet in each of these next two stitches, one and one. And then do that again two single crochets in the next, one single crochet in the next two. So at the end of round four, you will have 24 single crochets. So I'll do that and then I'll meet you up for round five. All right, I have 24 single crochets. Moving my stitch marker up, we are going to increase again. Let's put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two. And then we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next three stitches this round. So one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three. And we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch. Remember, back loops only. And then one single crochet in the next three stitches. At the end of round five, you're going to have 30 single crochets. So I'm just going to repeat that sequence and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round six. All right, going on to round six, we're gonna move our stitch marker up. So I have 30 single crochets right now. We are going to increase again. Let's put two single crochets in this first stitch one and two and then for this row we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next four stitches one next stitch two next stitch three and next stitch four and then we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around so put two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And at the end of round six, you're going to have 36 single crochets. So I'm just going to repeat that sequence all the way around and I'll meet you up. We'll do another increase for round seven. All right, moving my stitch marker up and going on to round seven, we are going to put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two and then one single crochet in the next five stitches this round. One, two, three, whoopsie, back loop only, four and five. And we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. So at the end of round seven, you'll have 42 single crochets. And the next round, round eight, is our last increase round. So I'll meet you up and we'll increase again. 
All right, moving my stitch marker up. Right now I have 42 single crochets around. So now let's go on to round eight. We are going to put two single crochets in this first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next six stitches this round. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome. So just repeat that all the way around, and at the end of round eight, you will have 48 single crochet stitches. So I'll do that and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round nine. All right, so this is what your piece should look like, a big uh, circular piece, and you can kind of see it's starting to dome, which is totally good, totally fine. For the next five rounds, I think it is, round 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, the next six rounds, uh, we are going to just put one single crochet in each stitch around, so no more increasing. Uh, so we are going to just put one single crochet, I moved my stitch marker up there, and working in the back loops only, we we are going to just put one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds 9 through 14. When I'm finished with round 14, you'll have 48 stitches on each of those rounds, so no increasing, no decreasing. Uh, when I'm finished with round 14, I'll meet you up because for round 15, we will start our decrease. All right, I just finished rounds 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 here. So now I'm going to move my stitch marker up and we're going to start decreasing now. So for round 15, we are going to single crochet these two stitches together. So let's go into this stitch right here and then yarn over and pull through and then go directly into the next stitch right here. Okay, and then we're going to yarn over and pull that through. So now we have three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that makes those two stitches into one. So that's a single crochet two together stitch. Now we're going to single crochet into the next six stitches. So go into this next stitch here and just put a regular single crochet. There's one. Next stitch is two. Next is three, here's four, five, and six. And we have to repeat this whole sequence from here to here all the way around. So let's single crochet two together. So go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through. Go into the next stitch right here, yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So it's a single crochet two together. And then we're going to single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So just repeat that all the way around. And at the end of round 15, you will have 42 stitches left. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up. We'll decrease again for round 16. All right, just finished round 15 there. I have my 42 stitches around. So now going on to round 16, I'm going to move my stitch marker up and we're going to decrease again. So let's single crochet two together. So go into this next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now for this round, we're going to single crochet into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then repeat that sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together, and then single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so do that all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have 36 stitches. I'll do that and I'll meet you up for round 17. 
All right, moving my stitch marker up, I have 36 stitches around. So going on to round 17, we're going to decrease again. So let's single crochet two together. Just like that. And now for this round, we are going to single crochet into the next four stitches. Here's one, two, three, and four and we will repeat that sequence all the way around so at the end of this round you will have 30 single crochets so just single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next four stitches and I then will meet you up for round 18 all right moving my stitch marker up we're going on to round 18 we're going to decrease again so let's single crochet two together one and two there yarn over pull through all three loops and then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches for this round oops there we go one two and three and always remember well work in the back loops only and we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around so single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next three stitches. And at the end of this round, round 18, we will have 24 stitches uh, around. Um, after this round, I am going to actually uh, um, pause, whoopsie, I'm screwing up here. <laughs> We're gonna pause um, crocheting the top closed and we are going to embellish, um, we're gonna kind of make a, a nose and a mouth next. So I'm just going to concentrate and count here and make sure that I have 24 stitches at the end of this round and then I'll meet you up and we'll embroider a nose and a mouth. All right, so now I have 24 stitches left now. So what I'm actually gonna do uh, before we go on to round 19, I'm gonna pull this up here and remove my hook. And I'm gonna kind of flatten this out so you can see how it looks. This is how it's going to kind of look. So now around, uh, let's see here, mostly around round 11 here. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Right here is where I want the nose to be, okay? So what we're going to do um, before we attach, we haven't even made the eyes or the ears yet. So before we attach anything or make anything, we're going to embroider the nose because we have to close this piece but it's easier to embroider the nose and tie everything on the inside beforehand so you saw there I just yarned my needle with the black yarn okay and it's attached to this ball of yarn here so what we're going to do is go from the inside that's open now we're going to go from the inside around around or near round 11 here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven right here and we're gonna go from the inside going out through round 11 okay really anywhere on this piece right about here And we're going to make a upside down triangle. I'm pulling this yarn through quite a bit actually because we're going to use that for embroidering. embroidery. And we're going to make a uh, upside down triangle. So I'm going to go across the way down to here and then back up through here. Okay, through round 11 there. So this is round 10, this is round 11. And I'm just going to make this triangle then go back down through there and then we're just going to go around and around and around and around and just keep embroidering embroidering <laughs> this nose to be completely black and just keep going through the same hole right here and just go across the way then to meet all the way across there so right all the way there so I'll continue so you can watch me do the whole nose here. Going around, coming back through to that same hole, coming back up and pulling, going back down through that same hole there. And we just want to cover the whole like white area here just to make sure that the nose is complete right here. 
Okay, and you don't want any gapping. You can see there's a little gap there, so I'll have to come back through there right here. Just make sure they cover all that area. And make it have a cute little nose. Aww. Okay, I just want to do it one more time up here. There we go. All right, now we want to end it down in this center area where we kept going through. And now we're going to make a mini mouth little area here. So I'm going to go down. And you can see me through the stitches. I'm coming down through here, down through the center. Okay, oops, pull just like that. And then I'm going to go down to this side and then back up and then down to this side. So I'm going to go down through here, back up, and I'm going to go into the yarn itself, right in there. So you can see I'm into the yarn so that there will be no gaps or anything. And then I'm going to come down to this side, right here, and again, back through to the yarn, or through the yarn, here. Okay, and then back up through the nose. And then end on the inside, just like that. <laughs> Cute. Okay, then you can turn this inside out and you can cut these two strands shorter and then tie them in a knot on the inside of your little bear head your panda. Okay, and you can tie it twice or three times, but you can just leave it in there then nobody knows that that's inside. So you can just turn it right side out again and look at how fabulous. It's so cute. Awesome. Now we are going to close this top. Let's grab some polyfill. Have some polyfill here. So we're going to stuff this top, stuff this head here. And then we're going to completely close the rest. We just have three more rounds until this top is completely closed. So you want to stuff it as much as you can right now. And then we'll stuff it uh, during these last three rounds as well. But I do want my panda head to not be completely rounded like this. I kind of want it more flat. Like this one I made earlier, you can see it's more flatter like this, like a pillow. So I kind of want it to be like flatter. So I'm going to kind of squish it, squish it just like that. Separate my um, little polyfills inside just like that. So now it's more flat. Cute. It already looks so cute. Okay. So now let's move this black yarn out of the way and grab our crochet hook and get back to crocheting this top closed. So now I'm going to move my stitch marker up and we are going to go on to round 19 and we are going to decrease this top. So let's single crochet two together. So go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then just single crochet into the next two stitches one and one and repeat that sequence all the way around so single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next two stitches whoops one and one okay single crochet two together and single crochet in the next two stitches and at the end of round 19 you'll have 18 single crochets so do that and then i'll meet you up for round 20. All right, moving my stitch marker up, I'm going on to round 20. You can see the hole is getting much clo much more closed. So now we are going to single crochet two together. So I just move my stitch marker up there, single crochet two together here, just like that. And then just single crochet into the next stitch. And just repeat that sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together, it's going to get quite tight. There we go. And then single crochet in the next stitch, then single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next stitch. 
and you could do that all the way around at the end of this round you'll have your 12 stitches around and you can also um, stuff this a little bit more if you need to if you feel like it needs more stuffing and look at that I'm all ready to the beginning again it was that fast so now let's go on to our last round I'm going to stuff this a little bit more with just a little bit of stuffing I have left over here and I'm going to move my stitch marker up and for the last round we are going to single crochet two together and we're going to do that six times so there's one single crochet these next two stitches together there's two it's going to be so tight here there we go three remember back loops only it makes it really easy just working in those back loops there they're much easier to find <laughs> I think so at least there's five and I just have to do one more single crochet two together stitch six whoopsie <laughs> there's six awesome now we just have a tiny little hole there you can either fasten off and sew that closed or you can single crochet into this next stitch right here and if you go across the way right here to the fourth stitch so the first and fourth stitch one two three four and then five and six we're gonna go across the way right there then we're going to yarn over and pull through both of those stitches and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay so that single crochets those together then we're going to chain one and then cut this yarn and then pull it all the way through that chain one and pull tight we can remove our stitch marker no longer needing that and you can grab your crochet hook go through a few of the stitches just like this to the top here grab that straggler and pull it to the inside of your panda head just like that to hide it completely okay and then you can kind of squeeze it and shape it the way you need it to be shaped cute awesome so there's the head part now we're going to grab some black yarn and we are going to make the two eyes and the two ears next all right I grabbed some black yarn here we're gonna start off by making the eyes so let's make our slip knot put the short end over the long end then fold this down and then pull the long end through and pull tight insert your hook and we can start so for the eyes we are going to chain two so yarn over pull through one and two and just like round one of the head part we're going to put six single crochets in the second chain from the hook so one here's two three four five and six but for this round we are going to slip stitch to the first stitch so if you need to count back six stitches go into that very first single crochet stitch and you can go under both loops the front and the back loop and then yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook and that is a slip stitch so you have a little circle here now we're going to chain up three one two and three and in that same first stitch that we just slip stitched in we are going to double crochet so yarn over go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into yarn over and then pull that through that stitch and then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops and that's a double crochet now in the next stitch we are going to put a half double crochet so yarn over go into this next stitch right here yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops that are on your hook and that's a half double crochet in that same stitch we are going to put a single crochet so go back in then yarn over and pull through 
and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So in that stitch, there's a half double crochet and a single crochet. Now in this next stitch, we are going to put a single crochet and a half double crochet, but in that order. So we're gonna do single crochet first, and then a half double crochet in that same stitch after it. Just like that. So there's a single crochet and a half double crochet in that next stitch there. In the very next stitch right here, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into this next stitch right here, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, go back into that same stitch with another double crochet. And now we're going to repeat what we did on this side for these last two stitches. So in this next stitch, we're going to put a half double crochet, and then we're going to put a single crochet in that same stitch. And then in the next stitch, we are going to put a single crochet, and then a half double crochet in that same stitch. Just like that. Now we are going to slip stitch to the beginning chain up three. One, two, three, right at the top there under this first loop here and this back loop here. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And pull tight. And that was round two. Going on to our last round of the eyes, we are going to chain up one. And in this chain up three stitch here that we just slip stitched into, we're going to put two single crochets. So go into this stitch that we just slip stitched into, this chain up three stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, go back in. I know it's going to be a little tight because it is just a chain stitch, but make two single crochets in there. And in the next stitch after that, this double crochet stitch right here, make two single crochets in there. One and two. Now in the next four stitches, this half double crochet, the single crochet, the single crochet, and this half double crochet, we're just going to put one single crochet in each one of those. So one, two, three, and four. And now the next two stitches are double crochet stitches. And in each one of these stitches, we are going to put two single crochets. So one and two. And in the next stitch here, two single crochets, one and two. So you should have four stitches left on this round. In each of the last four stitches, we're just gonna put one single crochet. One, two, three, and four. And then we just have to slip stitch to the first single crochet right here. So if you need to count back 16, there should be 16 stitches on this round. Go in, yarn over, pull through. Oopsie. Don't lose your loops here. <laughs> yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And to fasten off, we're going to chain one. We're going to cut our yarn kind of long for sewing, and then pull that whole thing all the way through that chain one, pull it tight so it's secure, and you can kind of stretch it out, make it look like an oval shape. And there is the eye. Now we want to grab some of that Aran yarn again. So let me grab my yarn needle, and we're going to make a little white tick mark in here. So let's yarn our needle with the Aran yarn. Going from the back side of the eye, we're going to go through a stitch like this, and then we're going to pull some yarn through, go to the other side, so across the way, up here, into this stitch here, okay? And we're going to do that three times, so that was one, go back through that same spot, here's two, and you can kind of pull them tight to make sure that they are secure. Okay, one more time here, through the bottom, and then up through the top, three. Okay, so we have three times in there. Turn this over to the back, and we're going to grab our scissors and cut this 
And I'm going to remove my needle here. And we're going to tie these two strands in a knot on the back side of our eye. Just like that. And then you can cut these strands all short. And if you have this straggler as well from the black part of the eye, just be careful with your scissors. And there is one eye done. So now all you have to do is just rewind this part and make another eye so you have both eyes finished just like this. Okay, or like this, I guess. Okay, and we're going to sew this to our panda head. So to sew this down, we're going to position this how we want, kind of on an angle, but not too much where it looks angry. <laughs> so just right about here. Okay, that looks good. And actually, I think they go up like this. Yeah, I'm looking at my other panda and it actually, they all go up like this. So this side on the inside toward the nose is more up and the outside of each eye is more down. Okay, so we're gonna go up like this. If you went like this, he would look kind of angry. And then I was looking at that and I was like, oh, yep. <laughs> but pandas are so cute. <laughs> so we want it to go like this. Okay, and we are going to just use the long strand that we cut when we fastened off the eye. <clears throat> we are going to go in to the head and then back out the eye. Okay, then we're going to go into the eye and through both layers, just like this and then back out the eye. Okay, and just sew it all the way around. And you can you know, move this piece however you need to, uh, manipulate it so that it is comfortable for you in your hand, just like this. Perfect. And almost done. We're about halfway there. Just going in and out of both layers. Just like that. Awesome. Now, when we're fastening off, we're going to end right about here. Okay. Make sure it's all stretched out and doesn't look like it's, um, you know, pulled or tight or anything. And then we're just going to go underneath a couple of these stitches right about here. Okay, keep our finger in this loop, then come back through this loop, just like that, and then remove your finger and pull tight. And you can do that once or twice. For me, once is enough. And then we're just going to go in between the layers and then through the head all the way to the back and pull that tight and then cut that extra and then just kind of stretch it out and make it look good. Cute! Oh, I gotta make him look less angry. <laughs> there. I think when the other eye is on it'll look cute. <laughs> I hope so. All right, so now I'm just going to do the same thing for this eye, just like this. Okay, so going up toward when you're in the inside where the nose is, we're going to go up. And when he's on, on this outside area, we're going to go down on an angle like this. Okay. And I'm going to see, though, if this looks better like this. Yeah, I think so. And I think I gotta move this um, white part here. So you can kind of play around with it a little bit and make it look good so it doesn't look so angry. I do want an angry panda. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna sew this one on exactly like I did this one and then I'll meet you back up and we'll make the ears.
All right, so I just played around with these eyes. They look a little better to me, so I sewed this one on as well. It looks really cute. So now we just have to add the ears, and then we're done with this cute little panda. So I'm going to set this aside and grab some more black yarn here. And we are going to just make the ears. So let's make a slip knot. You already know how to do that. And for this piece, we are going to make it similarly to how we made the body up here. We're going to work in the back loops only and in continuous rounds and the ears are only five rounds so it's pretty simple so what we're going to do is chain two so yarn over pull through one and two and we are going to put six single crochets in the second chain from the hook so just like round one of the head and the eyes so one two three four, five, and six. And just like the main part of the head, we are going to work in those continuous rounds and in the back loops only. So I grabbed a different yarn here so we can see my stitch marker because earlier my stitch marker was black <laughs> and I couldn't see it. I wouldn't be able to see it on the same color yarn. So I grabbed a little Aran stitch marker this time and for round two of the ears we are going to repeat round two of the body so we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch around so one two hop to the next three four go into the next stitch here remember back loops only here's five and six seven and eight. Next stitch has nine and ten. And this last stitch here, eleven and twelve. So you should have twelve stitches on round two. Moving that stitch marker up, going on to round three, we are just doing an uh, increase to 18 stitches on this round. So very, you know, exactly like round three of the main part of the head here. So let's put two single crochets in this next stitch and then one single crochet in the stitch after that. And just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets, oopsie, in the back loop of the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next. Okay, then two single crochets in the next, and then one single crochet in the next. And at the end of round three, you'll have 18 stitches, and I'm almost there, so you can just continue watching, and then we'll go on to the next round. One, and two, and the last stitch. Okay, so there is round three, moving our stitch marker up. Rounds four and five, the next two rounds, are just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. So no increasing at this point. Just put one single crochet in the back uh, loop of each stitch around. You'll have 18 stitches for rounds four and five. When I finish round five, I'll meet you back up. We'll fasten this off and go on to the next step. All right, just finished rounds four and five here. So now we're just going to fasten this ear off. So let's go under both loops of this next stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through for a slip stitch. And then to fasten off, I just chain one. We're going to cut our yarn long like we did for the eye because we're going to use that for sewing. And we're going to pull that through that whole chain one there and pull tight. We can remove our stitch marker, and there we have an ear. So all you need to do is just rewind this to make another ear if you need to rewind this or you can follow along with the written pattern. But we need to have two of these and once you have two of these done we can sew it to the head. I've already have this one sewn on here. I just did that off camera real quick so I can show you how to sew on the ear and then we'll be done. So we're just going to yarn our needle with that long strand we just cut. And we're going to position this and make sure you position it when you do your second ear. Make sure you position it to be right near the where the first ear was. So I'm going to position it right where on the side here. Where it should be. Okay. And we're just going to go through this 
layer and this layer, okay? Because this is open, we want it to be closed. So we're gonna go through both layers, just like that, and through the head there. And we're just going to kind of just whip stitch this. So just go through the head, uh, main part of the head, and the next stitch on the ear, across the way to the next stitch on the ear, so both layers, and pull. Okay, again, through the head, then through this layer of the ear, and this layer of the ear, and then pull. Okay, so we're just sewing this ear on just by using the whip stitch, it's called. And then once you have this ear on, you can finish your other ear and uh, sew that one on as well. And then you'll be done with this panda. So I just have to say a huge thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this project and a huge thank you to my dad, Fouad Asmuch, for traveling because we have a new studio now. We're working in our new studio and he travels to come see me and do that. And big thank you to him for editing the tutorial and taking the fabulous photos for it as well. Okay, so now we're just going to fasten this ear off just like this. We're going to go underneath a couple of the stitches, just like I did for the eye, basically. Keep our finger in the loop, come back through the loop, and then pull tight. And you could do that once or twice, and then hide this to the inside. So just going through the both layers of the ear, I'm gonna come out the top of the ear. Okay, and then cut any extra, and there it is. So there you have your panda, little mini panda amigurumi pillow. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make this, uh, please share a photo on the Facebook and Instagram. And if you do share it on Instagram, make sure you hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your cute little pandas. Hashtag panda, panda, panda. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, happy hooking.